Well, tonight we begin with a verdict in a murder trial related to the killing of a seven-year-old girl during a police raid. Two men associated with that raid learned their fate today. When police went to Iona Jones' home that night in 2010, they were looking for Chauncey Owens in connection with the teenager's murder. Now a jury has found him and Iona's father guilty of that crime. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live downtown in Detroit tonight. Now, Kim, you were able to talk to Chauncey Owens' attorney. What did he have to say? Well, he had some interesting things to say. Defense attorney David Cripps wants raw video from the reality show The First 48 because he believes there's evidence to show that his client is actually not guilty. How does the jury find it? Guilty of second degree murder. First, the jury's verdict for Charles Jones was read guilty of second degree murder in the killing of 17 year old Jerry and Blake. Prosecutors say Jones gave Chauncey Owens the gun and went with Owens when he shot and killed Jerry because Owens thought the teenager had given him a dirty look while standing outside of a party store. The jury found the defendant guilty of murder in the first degree. Chauncey Owens guilty of first degree premeditated murder. Nearly four long years later for Jerrion's mother, who says now she can finally sleep. Something she hasn't really done since rushing her son to the hospital, desperate to save his life. I was going past red light, stop sign, blowing horns, and everything else. Trying to bring my son, make sure my son lives. But now he gone. But he never be forgotten. It was the search for Chauncey Owens that led police to the home where Ayana, the daughter of Charles Jones, was accidentally shot and killed by a bullet from Officer Joseph Weekly's gun. And Owens' defense attorney says the death of the little girl, Owens considered to be his niece, is what led him to admit to Jerrion's murder, even though now he claims to be innocent. It's only after he was told over the phone from a phone call from the hospital that his niece had died that he broke down and was in a very vulnerable psychological state where he began making admissions to something that I believe him when he told me that he didn't actually do. My son didn't get the chance to walk across that stage to get his diploma. He didn't, he didn't make it to get his suit for his prom. He didn't make it go to the Marine. Been accepted, he couldn't go. So tell me how I was be feeling. And Chauncey Owens and Charles Jones will be brought back here to the courthouse next month for sentencing. But we do know that Owens, after being found guilty of first degree premeditated murder, is facing life. In downtown Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Back to you.